This video I've been meaning to make for a while and it's not quite in the format I wanted it to be but the reason you would watch this video is if you want to know the difference between an Icona Electric in what is known as basically a Platinum specification or an Elegance specification. So I have this video here which is all about the Hyundai Kona Electric in this model. It's based on the Platinum version, um, but some people are going to look at what's called an Elegance version. So in this video then, I'm gonna show you the differences between a Platinum and an Elegance. The other video will be more in depth about the car and driving it and all that kind of stuff. This is more of a specification run through just to show you basically uh, what you're going to get in that car that doesn't come in that car or vice versa, whatever way you want to think about it. So just starting out in terms of powertrains, this car here is a Elegance. So it starts off as an Elegance. The first model Elegance is a 48 kilowatt hour battery, which is promising 377 kilometers. In my opinion, then for most people, that's going to run somewhere between, I suppose, about 300 kilometers to 350 kilometers, maybe even late 200s, like 280, 290 in the depths of winter, uh, up to mid 300s in a warm day on the summer. The second model is going to be this one again, Elegance, but this time with a 65 kilowatt hour battery. A 65 kilowatt hour battery basically promising 511 kilometers. What I'm saying to people on that is probably somewhere in the regions on the coldest day of the winter at a high speed, 380, 390, 400, and in the summer then probably upwards of late 400s towards 500 kilometers. So like what we said, Elegance, it's gonna come in a 48 or it's gonna come in a 65 kilowatt hour battery. When we move over to this one called Platinum, we only get the 65 kilowatt hour battery, which is the longer range. Now again, like I was saying to you, if you do want more information just about the Konas in general, these are all different sold ones. So we have some petrols and some hybrids and these are electric, anyway. Um, so if you really want uh, the video that is this one here, this is going to go through everything about the car in terms of size and driving and all that kind of stuff. This is more just about what essentially is the difference between the two. So you've seen the powertrain differences and to be fair, visually between these two cars, there is very, very little difference. So if you're not familiar with any of the videos I've done before, then you might think I'm leaving loads of stuff out. But like I was saying to you, this video here, that's going to be much more comprehensive. Anyway, the only real difference I can give you between the Elegance in what I would call the standard range or the long range versus the long range Platinum. If you're sharp, you'll have seen it already. So up here, if you see the gap between the daytime running lights, or in this case, what are also parking lights, when it's actually... Um, uh, when the lights are off, you would think the two cars are identical on the front, but there is LEDs built into both sides on this, but not along the center on the front. But when we move from Elegance up into Platinum, then you can see the horizon bar that's going all the way across. So you get identical daytime running lights either side, but you can see then these little diodes, they all light up in the center. So that, as far as I can see, is the only way to tell the difference, if you've seen one of these cars driving towards you, that's the only way to tell the difference between an Elegance or a Platinum. After that then, looking down the side of the car in Ireland at the moment, the wheels are the exact same, tinted glass is the same, the chrome is in the same place. So really nothing is changing down the side profile of the car. And on the rear of the car then, you can see the light bar goes from left to right on the Elegance model, which is the exact same as what you see on the Platinum model over here. So I guess what we're saying is, there's really no difference between the rear of those two cars. It's impossible to tell which model it is. So I suppose what I'm saying here is there's one distinct difference on the outside of those vehicles and actually no other way of telling. So the next thing probably what's going to be one of the more obvious things is when you're looking at an Elegance, you can see the interior is going to be a dark cloth. So that means on the front and the rear of the car, it's a dark cloth interior. It'll still get heated seats and heated steering wheel, but it is a dark cloth interior no matter which color you pick on the Elegance in the standard range and also in the long range, as opposed to a leather interior that you're going to see when you go into the Platinum in the long range. The uh, leather interior can be a light or dark interior, so it depends which model you're choosing. This example here then, just because it's got a black exterior, it has this light shale interior, but other colors will have black leather interiors. One other point to note I see actually is there's ambient lighting over here and here on the Platinum model. And you can see in the door up here, there is LED lighting that shines down into the pocket. So that's on a Platinum model, but I don't see any evidence of that then on an Elegance model. So I'd say that is Platinum specific. Looking at the standard range and the long range of Elegance, the passenger seat is fixed in terms of height. 
Whereas the long range Platinum then, it has an electric adjustment, which allows height adjustment as well. That driver's seat that's on the Elegance in standard and long range has height adjustment, but it is based on a manual adjuster with lumbar support. However, when you go to long range Platinum, then you're going to get electric adjustments down through here. Again, they'll have lumbar support with height adjuster just from electric control. The next major difference, so if we're sitting in an Elegance, if we turn left or turn right, nothing changes on the screen. That will become more relevant pretty soon. Uh, but the big thing over here then is massive screen here with a real, um, sorry, a really big, nice reverse camera. So when you're looking at the reverse camera, it has dynamic guidelines that move as you move backwards and forwards. And then you have different settings as to how you want it to show you what you're doing. So that'd be the most usable, uh, usable one. Front parking sensors, rear parking sensors. So they'll also show you what's going on around the car. So this being the standard or long range elegance. Sitting in the platinum long range. So if I turn right, it gives me a blind view monitor over there. So it tells me what's on the right hand side of the car. Or if I turn left, it tells me what's going on to the left. Basically there's little cameras that sit in each door mirror on the car just underneath. So you can see one of them here and there's another one here on the front. And that's basically why you end up with the blind view monitor on this platinum version. Now the camera for going backwards is a little bit more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A little bit more detail. So it's a 360 camera, so I can look a real wide panoramic view. Going forwards, I can do the same. So you can see what way you can actually change. So this is all forward based stuff. And then we have rearward face stuff in here. So I can change, have a really dynamic view. So that's front and rear different types of views down left and right hand side of the car so there's a lot of different ways of doing it or I can have this 360 set up here and it'll show me what's around the car not great in the showroom because there's a lot of contrasting shapes and lights and artificial light but that's very very cool and it's still showing this over here but like my god what a reverse camera on this when you go into look how wide that is it is absolutely gigantic so that's a massive difference another thing then is a heads-up display so the heads up display, a little bit hard to see. I'm going to turn off the lights for a minute and now you should be able to see. So this is on the long range platinum version. So you will not see this on the Elegance standard range or long range. You have to go for the platinum. So in through here, it reflects up onto the screen, telling you things about speed zones, some of your lane keep assist functions and your actual speed on the car as well. So anyway, it's not a super long video, but it's just for someone that's trying to figure out what the difference is between the two cars. So the one on the right hand side, like we're saying, standard range or long range, in other words, 48 kilowatt or 65 kilowatt hour in what's called an elegance. And then the next one after that, which is going to be the long range platinum, 65 kilowatt hour. So that's the differences between the two cars. So hopefully if you're trying to figure out which one to buy, it's giving you a better idea which one might be more suitable. Thanks for watching. If there's any information you want, 086-843-1945. Call, text, WhatsApp if you want information on the cars. Like we sent you, if you uh, want a more detailed video about Kona, how it drives, and a lot more of the philosophy of it and all that kind of stuff, this video here is going to be much more useful for you. Uh, so watch that maybe as well. This is more going to help somebody who's trying to figure out the differences between the two specifications, is they're trying to buy it, and the specification is very relevant to uh, Sutter Learned. So, um, Fitzpatrick's Carriage, a family-run business in operation for almost 70 years. If there's any information you want, like present, you give me a shout. Hopefully the video has been useful and thanks a million for taking time to watch.